Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we are doing my last unboxing of the year. So today's Christmas, so I thought it would be appropriate to save my last unboxing for today. I had it a couple days ago, but I had some other stuff to do, and it made sense to open this stuff on Christmas Day. So for all of you that are watching this, Thanks for watching on Christmas, I appreciate it. Uh, but once you get done with the video, make sure you finish the video, go back and spend time with your family. That's what you should be doing. Uh, I hope you guys got some good stuff too. That's always cool. So Merry Christmas to all of you guys. Now let's open the box and see what I got. I think I know what's in this one actually. A couple of a couple of imports. I think we have a Figma, an SH Figure Arts, and a Play Arts figure. So a little bit of variety here. No domestics this time. The last couple of videos have been heavily weighted toward domestic figures. So this should be a nice little change of pace to finish out the year. And I will have a couple of vlog type videos coming out very soon. I just haven't gotten around to doing them. And I still need to do the top 10 list for the year. It's a tough one this year. There's a lot of good stuff that's on my list. I'm up to like 20 figures right now. So I need to pare that down. Also, if you're watching this, you still have time to participate in my giveaway. So check out that video. It will be popping up in the bottom corner here if it hasn't already. So check that out. Um, did I put that? Yeah, it's in the right spot. It's going to be right here in this region. Uh, so you can win uh, Awakening Goku and the Aura Effect parts to go with it. All you have to do is post a couple of photos to the Gemmer page that I linked to. It's just the homepage. So you create an account, upload the photos, and post the photos on that video's web or that video's comments. And then you can win the Goku. So it's a pretty easy competition giveaway. And it's worldwide, so that's always good, too. All right, so let's see what we have in here. Lots of paper. That's always fun. We have the SH Figure Arts Kylo Ren. So we're going to be looking at him. And I probably will open these guys up quickly on camera because I know you guys like that. Or at least I think you guys like that. We also have the Figma Asuna figure from SAO, which is either loved or hated. Uh, I like the series for the most part, so I got the figures. And then the last thing to open, which I think most of you will like, the Play Arts Kai variant, Captain America, which has really cool box art. I hope the figure comes out as good as I want it to. We're going to save him for last. We're going to open up Asuna really quickly. Because I suspect the least amount of you are going to be interested in that figure. So we're going to open her up first and get her out of the way. I really enjoyed SAO despite the somewhat bad storylines for half of each season. Uh, some really bad storylines and some other bad things. But as a whole, I thought it was a fun show to watch. And I liked the whole concept of video games and being taken into them. So I had to get the figures for him. Plus, it looks like a pretty cool figure. So we're going to, we're going to take a quick look-see. And it looks pretty nice right off the top. Let's see. I like the color scheme. I'm a little partial to white and blue, so might be a little biased on this initial thought. Lots of plastic. Lots of protective plastic on this one. Let me, let me take it apart so I can get that plastic off, if it'll come apart. No, it's one of the ones that doesn't come apart. I hate it when they do that. Figma never puts the little cut marks in the protective plastic so that when you try to take it out, it doesn't come out effectively. And this particular Figma doesn't come apart easily. So we're going to have to tear that up and we're not going to be able to put that protective plastic back in. That's a bummer. But looks like they used the same hair from before. At least part of it. I guess that's okay. I could be wrong too. We'll see in a minute. Not in a minute. We'll see when I do the review. Check out the reviews for sure. But there she is. I love that white and blue combo. That looks so cool. As you can tell, kind of matches. Very nice paint job on this. I love that. They lined it up really well too with all those blue accents. Very cool looking figure. And it has a fair amount of accessories. Some wings, some swords, some other good stuff. So that'll be a good one. I like it. How did this go? Like that maybe? No, I can never. Do you guys have trouble with this? If you have a figure that has like 
the thing that holds the body apart so that the hair doesn't scratch it. I can never line them up in the package on the first try. Never. Um, it's a problem I have, really. You know that game when you're a kid where you put the shapes into the holes, like square peg goes into a square hole? Horrible at it. I was always trying to put that... No, I didn't have any trouble with that. I'm not a little kid. I don't have trouble with that. It's just the packaging. All right, let's open up Ren. Kylo Ren. Still haven't seen the movie. I'll see it eventually. And uh, I think when I do see it, I'll do a video talking about it because I am probably the least biased for or against Star Wars out of anybody in the world. I'm completely indifferent. I enjoyed the movies well enough when they came out. Not when they came out, when I saw them. Uh, the first three and then the prequel trilogy. Meh. I kind of didn't like those very much because I'm not biased either way. So I'm curious to see how this new one measures up to my standards. Alright, first thing I noticed. This lightsaber is really, really well done. It's got such a deep red plastic. I don't know if it'll focus. It's such a small... Come on... Got it. <laughs> Let me move my head so you can see a little bit better. There. Very deep red plastic. Maybe down on my shirt you can see it better. It's really cool looking. I like that. Yeah, that's going to be uh, fun to pose with. And now for the figure himself. It's very bland, but he is wearing all black. So I wasn't expecting it to have the most amount of visual appeal standing there straight up and down. That's expected. So you can see... Wow, there's more plastic. Whew, lots of plastic on these guys. Alright, so I'll hold them up like this real quick so you can see that. Looks pretty standard, pretty cool. It's a guy in a black outfit with a silver face mask. How does it look upon further inspection? Shoulders. Have a butterfly. Looks pretty good. Looks like he's going to have... He looks really big for a figure arts, doesn't he? Like, looks pretty sizable. I have large hands, and he's pretty big. Oh, huh, maybe he was huge in the show. I don't know, in the movie. Looks like a pretty cool figure. I don't see any huge flaws right off the bat. Arms look a little short due to the length of the legs, but I suppose they're probably not really. Looks pretty good. I am hopeful for this figure. I think I'm going to like it. I think it'll probably go nicely with my Darth Maul. I no longer have that lousy Darth Vader figure. I sold it off just because it was a lousy figure. So, that's a shame. But, these two should be pretty cool, and maybe I'll get another Vader eventually. So, make sure you check out the review for this guy, because... I think, I think he's going to turn out to be pretty good. Let's open this one. Now this one, I think, again, I think it has a good body, good everything, except for the head, based on the promo pictures. So I'm kind of curious about this one also. The uh, last Marvel variants turned out particularly nice. With uh, Thor and Venom and Black Widow, all very nice figures. Not perfect, but pretty darn good. So I'm hoping this guy does the same. I can see a problem right off, but hopefully it's not so bad once I get him out of the package. Okay, let's look at the shield first, because the shield needs to look pretty good. And it does. Very nicely done. Lots of detail in there. Very shiny, metallic looking. So we'll see how it connects. I'm pretty sure it's got a, an apparatus to connect it to the figure. So, that's pretty good. He's got a variety of hands. Fist hands, everything else. There's the thing to connect it to him. Let's look at the figure. Ay ay ay. Why do they do that? No. This is not okay. Most of the figure looks really good. Most of it does, but there's two glaring, horrible problems. Alright, son of a gun, you just can't win sometimes. And they went back to the hinge thing in the chest. I swear, it's like they don't... They're so freaking inconsistent that play arts figures half the time, fantastic. Other half the time, lousy garbage. Wow, they came up with a whole new design for the butterfly joint. It's horrible. Don't use this design anymore, Play Arts team. This is poop stick trashy garbage. That's a new one you guys can use. You can quote me on that. 
it looks cool at first glance, like, mostly. But the chest is completely hollow. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on here. The chest is completely hollow. You can see right into it from the side. And with that butterfly joint, when you bring the arms forward, you can stick your finger all the way through on the back, too. That is so disappointing. The chest is atrociously bad. I don't like the head sculpt either, personally, but I could have lived with that if it was just the just that. The rest of the figure looks good. I like the way they did the legs. I like the way they did the arms. Oh, well. We'll have to do the review. I can't talk about it too much on here. You guys won't come back to watch the other video. I need you to watch the video, so that's what I'm here for. Dang. I mean, once you pose him, it'll be okay, probably. But his entire torso has giant gaping holes in it. And his neck is back to being totally janky. Why do they go from making good figures to making crap figures? Man. So disappointing. Alright, that's a horrible way to end the video. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Make sure you guys check out that contest I'm doing because I'm giving away free stuff. So why not participate in that? It's always fun. Uh, if you guys have any topics you want me to talk about in my upcoming vlog, I already have a few. Uh, if you guys have enough that I like, maybe I'll do two vlogs, maybe I'll just add them to the one. I don't know, but I'll talk about those. And I'll be doing the uh, top 10. What do you guys think about making it a larger number, like top 15? Because there's so many, and I don't know if I want to pare it all down. I don't know if I want to have an extra long top list, because that kind of defeats the purpose of having a top number list. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know what you think about these figures, even though it's just a first glance type of thing. And uh, let me know what you guys got for Christmas. If you got anything awesome or any other holidays that you're celebrating, let me know if you got any cool gifts. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas, have a happy new year, and hopefully I'll see you guys in 2016.